What up choice players and my friends, in this position white has rook knight and pawn against two pawns, so it looks completely won in terms of material, however black's pawn is one step away from promotion and it looks like it's unstoppable, what are we gonna do to win this game? Show me your best endgame technique, pause the video now, write down your idea on how to win the game for white in the comment section and come back for the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright everyone, well done for realizing that obviously we needed to give a check, rook to b5 check. The whole point now is that if the king goes on the c file for instance anywhere, you will just check, if you're protected by the king and then the rook will go back to the last rank and then we can take it from there. Which means that after this move, our opponent can choose to play the move king to a8. What are you going to do now? It looks like there's no way to stop this pawn. Well, as a wise old man once said, if you can't stop the pass pawn, play knight to d7, from where you will be threatening checkmate. Rook to b8 is mate. And now there's nothing that black can do. If black promotes, it just doesn't stop the checkmate. If black gives you a check instead, well then rook a5 comes with check, don't forget that. And then you can reach the first rank. And last but not least, the cherry on the cake. If black plays a6, Black has an escape square. What are you going to do to stop the black player from promoting? Well, rook to b8 comes now, it's checked, the king has to go to a7, but now the key move to win is knight to e5. Boom! It's an incredible move. The black player cannot really promote because this is met with knight to c6, checkmate, and quite a glorious one. At the same time, the black player cannot really take the rook because knight to f3 simply stops the pawn from ever pushing forward and we're going to win because of our past pawn. <laughs>